Hi guys! Good morning! Magandang umaga! Buenos dias na mas igabalieros! We are your fellow criminology students from Group 1 and we are going to share our knowledge regarding the, the content and contextual analysis of selected primary sources in the Philippine history. In our past presentation, we've discussed about the first voyage around the world by Magellan written by Antonio Pigafetta. And now, let's play again the role of the historians as we discuss the customs of the Tagalogs by Juan de Plasencia. Juan de Plasencia is a talented linguist, writer, and a Franciscan missionary. He is one of the first missionaries in the Philippines who assigned to do mission works in southern Tagalog area. Because of his situation, he is credible in writing his account, but we need to take into further consideration that most of his observation, of course, are limited to the people in southern Tagalog area. But we cannot generalize that his observation is applicable to the entire Philippines. For the purpose of this discussion, let us summarize the contents and we will focus on these four points. The Gallup Society was organized into a barangay which were independent from one another and had hierarchical class. Here are some translated statements of Placentia. There are many barangays in each town, or at least on account of wars, they did not settle far from each other except in friendship and relationship. Geographically speaking, maraming barangay at hindi sila magkakalayo sa isa't isa. If you will read further, you can also notice some of the practices and activities wherein a certain barangay would require the help of another barangay. But there are certain level of independence and sovereignty between and among barangays. In addition to the chiefs who correspond to our knights, there are three castes, the nobles, the commoners, and the slaves. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay nire-respeto nila ang bawat taong mayroong posisyon sa kanilang barangay. The Tagalogs also had an existing political system, economic, and social practices. We can say that they had political system because the people always had chiefs called them by datus who governed and were captains in their wars and whom they obeyed and the reverence. It only means that they have a concept of leader in their society. One more thing about political system is that investigation made and sentences passed by the datu must take place of the presence of those of his barangay. Ang ibig lang sabihin nito ay noong unang panahon pa lamang ay mayroon na tayong mga batas na sinusunod. Another point is the economic practices. According to Juan de Placencia, the land which they inhabited were divided among the whole barangay, especially the irrigated portion, and thus each one knew his own. No one belonging to another barangay would cultivate them unless after purchase or inheritance. The trips also in some village also had fisheries, with established limits and sections of the rivers for market. It only means that since then, they already have their practice involving how they produce their necessities, mainly their irrigations and agricultural needs, and they even have their market, which means that they were trading within and outside the barangay. Basically, they have a standing economic practice. And lastly, the social practices. Dowries are given by the men to the women's parents. If the latter are living, they enjoy the use of it. They have social practices presented just like marriage. And if you read further, they also mention about divorce. They condemned no one to slavery unless he married the death penalty. Take note that in analyzing certain perspective, we must put in mind the difference of the European country and the Philippines. And lastly, the Tagalogs have their own religious and supernatural beliefs. Among their many idols, there was one called Bathala, whom they especially worship. The title seems to signify all-powerful, 
or maker of all things. Their manner of offering sacrifice was to proclaim a feast and offer to the devil what they have to eat. Why they used the term devil? Remember that Pasensya is a Catholic missionary and worshipping other God aside from what he preached is considered as paganism. And again, it is important to determine the perspective of the writer. If we're going to summarize the points that I had mentioned a while ago regarding to the customs of the Tagalog, personally I can say that the Tagalogs already have an existing civilization even before the coming of the Spaniards. And here we are again, the group one reminding you that the various social structures are present in order to make society an independent, thriving, and surviving group of people. However, it's not that much grand civilization just like an empire or a kingdom. They are still towards stage of development of a civilization, however, they were colonized by the Spaniards in between that development of civilization. And that's it for our video. Keep safe and God bless. And again, we are your fellow criminology students from Group 1. Mabuhay and thank you for watching.